Kung yung mura ba is pwedeng tumapat sa mahal. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Again, it's me, Kyril Paris. Please do not forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe on my YouTube channel and my Facebook page, Signature by Paris K. For this episode, we'll be doing Battle of the Brands, High-End Makeup, the expensive pricey ones versus the drugstore makeup, the affordable makeup products. If you're interested and curious about the affordable drugstore makeup, Makeup products, the high end, expensive, pricey makeup products, please keep on watching. Again, for this episode, we'll be doing the Battle of the Brands High End Makeup. The pricey expensive ones versus the affordable drugstore makeups. And yes, I'm already done with my toner and moisturizer. So let's start this bottle of makeup brands. We'll be doing it half on this side is the high-end expensive pricey makeup brands. And on this side is the affordable drugstore makeup brands. For our base and foundation, I won't be using a makeup brush, only just hands lang, para mas makita natin. For my primer, I have the, the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. Again guys, primer helps the makeup to stay much more longer. And on this side, is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. Master Prime is, it's like white liquid texture. For the foundation naman is on this side for affordable ones, the Maybelline 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. This is full coverage. So I'll be using my hands to apply. the difference without foundation pa and this one that has foundation maybe in 24 hours full coverage foundation this is one of my favorites talaga recent post para siyang airbrush finish i'll be adding some para dito sa pimple makover niya buti na lang yung pimple ko is medyo nawawala na Ito kasi dun to sa IVI na ininom ko. You can watch my video. Okay, see? It's finished. And for the high-end, pricey one. On this side, I have here the Fenty Beauty in 190 shade. Ito kasi is 120 shade. So, uh, nung umorder ako sa Sephora, nilagay ko to. Ito yung naging basis ko to pick my shade and ito yung binigay nila. This is 190, one shade lighter as well. Let's shade. Ito lang sa Fenty Beauty. Ang dali niyang matuyo pag nilalagay. So, dapat bibilisan mo kasi talagang natutuyo siya agad. Bibilisan mo yung pag apply Yun yung napansin ko sa kanya. Gusto ko rin siya actually. It has natural finish. And yes, I have my dark spot on this side a little. So, dagdagan natin ng konti. Finish. This is Maybelline and this is Fenty Beauty. Actually, ito yung isa sa mga favorites kong foundation since ito yung pag binili mo is hindi ka magsisisi. Ang ganda nung finish niya. This is Maybelline. The affordable ones. And yung pricey, Fenty Beauty. Is this video, this is not comparing products but rather a knowledge, a test performance, and a review. Kung yung mura ba is pwedeng tumapat sa mahal. As you can see, foundation pa lang tayo. Ganda na agad ng finish. I love this book. Let's proceed with Kilai and also Ice. Okay, another makeup hack. 
for this video, I am will be trying to use an eyeshadow for my kilay. Kasi, ang alam ko, meron kasi ako minsan na ginagawa yung pangkilay. Ginagamit ko rin siya na eyeshadow. Sometimes when I travel, mas convenient dali. Detail na favorite ko. Kasi ginagamit ko rin talaga siya pang kilay. Also pang eyeshadow. For this video, I will be also trying tong eyeshadow palette na to for pang kilay as well. So, titignan natin kung pwedeng-pwede rin ba talaga siya. Both high-end and also affordable makeup. So, dito tayo sa side ng affordable ones. This is Jessie Franz Sleek Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So, for the pang kilay, we'll be using this shade. Pwedeng-pwede siya. Pwede nga siya pang kilay. So, sa inyo, ang accidentally naubusan kayo ng pang kilay, pwede rin naman yung eyeshadow. But, check first kasi it depends with the texture and consistency. So, excess here on this tip. And for the high-end, expensive, this eyeshadow palette, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is very expensive din talaga. We'll be trying it as well na pang kilay and eyeshadow. For pang kilay, we'll be using this shade, the Cyprus Amber. It's very highly pigmented, that's why you need to be very extra careful in applying. Pwede rin nga talaga ang eyeshadow palette. Kung may dala kayo, pwede rin siyang pang kilay. So, ito yung shade na pinangkilay ko sa Jazzy palette. Wala siyang pangalan dito sa mismong product, but ito yung shade na yun. Ayan. It's highly pigmented as well. Dito naman sa Anastasia Beverly Hills is ito. See the difference, guys? This one is much more highly pigmented than this. Pero, humahabol pa rin si affordable makeup. For the eyeshadow, we'll be using the same again. Brown shade lang tayo. For this side, the affordable ones, I'll be using again this shade and this shade. Actually, this Jossie Friends din talaga is highly pigmented. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills is much more highly pigmented. one shade darker. So, ito guys, I'm using a color changer na bibili to sa online Lazada and also Divisoria meron din. On this side, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'll be using this uh, rustic and also Cypress Amber shade. Sobrang highly pigmented niya, guys. So, we should blend it. See the performance, guys? This one is number 9 out of 10 highly pigmented. This one is number 10 out of 10 highly pigmented. Pwedeng-pwede humabol si affordable makeup. Guys, lagyan nga pala natin ng konting shimmer yung eye makeup natin. Again, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'll be uh, getting a little of this product, the rose pink, on this side. Yan o, nakita nyo ba? ba? Sobrang nakikita mo agad. love about ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills, yung eyeshadow nila is really one of the best. It's creamy, not that powdery when you apply. Sobrang highly pigmented. And let's blend it with blending brush. This side, affordable makeup, wala kasi dito, puro matte lang siya na neutral colors. Wala ditong glittery, somehow shimmery one. So, I'll be using, let's be resourceful, the Fashion 21 Mineral Blush Powder, which is medyo may onting shimmer siya, but not too much. Lalagay lang tayo ng konti, which is just like the same of this. Again, blend it. See guys, pwedeng pwede rin siya. For 
the eyeliner, I have here the Marc Jacobs on this side, the high-end, pricey ones. And the Nichido Black Eyeliner Girls Night Out Eye Pencil. So, ito is meron din siyang smudger if in case you want to smudge the eyeliner for fashion makeup or ganon, it depends. Ito naman is eyeliner talaga. And upon applying it, as you can see, ito yung kanyang swatches. Ito mas highly pigmented. Curl na tayo ng lashes. On this side, the affordable ones is the Nichido Eyelash Curler. So, let's make it, diba, three times. Una is pinaka dun sa tip. Hold it for a second. Then, sa gitna. And, dun sa pinaka other side tip. And uh, dito naman tayo sa high-end, this one, Shuyumura Eyelash Curler. This is very expensive and very well-known. Pagang lahat ng makeup artists, beauty junkies, is ito yung sinasabi nilang one of the best eyelash curler. And at the same time, is also pricey. Almost the same lang din naman sila. Mas nakakalamang nga lang tong Shuyumura. Why? Because ito talaga high quality siya. Hindi siya yung nakakasakit sa pelik mata. Takes good care as well your eyelashes. This one kasi it's niche do. Matagal na sa akin to. Pero ito minsan napuputol yung pelik mata ko. Ganun. Pero with the performance, yun nga lang yung con niya. Yes, nakakaputol din siya ng pelik mata. Ito talaga is wala. Curling lashes. Nakita nyo naman. Nakakahabol pa rin si affordable makeup. Ay mascara. I have the L'Oreal Paris for affordable drugstore makeup. Lush Paradise. This is also very, very good. I love it. Let's now apply on this side. For the pricey ones is the Marc Jacobs. Actually, this both is waterproof and really extreme black. Almost the same. Let's proceed on this side. The NARS Orgasm Blush. This is very well known. And it is said to be one of the popular blushes na sobrang love na mga makeup artists. I love it. Parang golden flicks na texture on face. Ayan, the cheeks. And on this side naman is the slick. Sinasabi nila na dupe daw to ng NARS Orgasm Blush. Mahal din siya, pero mas mahal tong NARS Orgasm. So, slick in shade of rose gold. Ito kasi palette na to. May nabibili na single blush on lang din. See the blush on. It's almost really the same. The only thing is that dito naman tayo sa uh, affordable makeup side, drugstore makeup, sobrang mas highly pigmented to than this NARS Orgasm. But they're really, really good and great. Pumapantay pa rin talaga ang performance with lipstick. We're almost soon to done for this makeup tutorial and review. And now, on this side, the L'Oreal Paris in Dewey Beige. Same shade. Ito medyo may buo-buo lang ng konti than MAC lipstick. But still, it's good. Follow it up with the setting powder. For the high end, we have Kat Von D. Translucent setting powder. And for the affordable drugstore makeup, we have this translucent setting powder. Let's now apply first Kai Bees. Ayan. Ito lang medyo ang messy niya. So, be extra careful with upon opening it. So, yan, nagkakalat siya. Yun lang talaga yung parang kon ko dito. Pag bukas mo, you should be very careful. It has as well an applicator. Pero kasi tinanggal ko na siya. 
Actually, kasi ako, mas preferred ko sa buong face ilagay. We're done on this side. For this side naman, again, the high end. We have Kat Von D. Sobrang well secured niya. Meron din yun actually yung applicator. Pero, ito talaga, as in well secured yung item. High quality with packaging. May ganito pa siya, guys. Yan. Parang may stopper. Ayan guys, ewan ko ah, nakikita nyo sa camera, but dito sa akin, sa mirror, mas gusto ko yung lapat nung translucent setting powder dito. Sobrang fine and well niya compared here. But somehow, it's set well then Mas maganda nga lang talaga dito on this side. And last one to let's now apply on this side, the slick highlighter. Maglagay tayo ng highlighter dito. For this side, the loose highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is really has big difference kasi ito is loose powder. Ito is fine powder talaga siya. Sobrang pinun. Kasi Anastasia Beverly Hills for eye and makeup, sobrang highly pigmented niya. Kaya dapat konti-konti lang. See? Diba? Sobrang highly pigmented niya guys. It really needs time to scatter. Tapos sobrang glittery and shimmery niya talaga. Okay, I'm done with highlighter. As you can see, sobrang highly pigmented talaga to. That's why you need to be really extra careful in applying compared here. It has shimmer but in light, fine form. Anyway, kasi ito namang slick is nasa compact or palette siya. Tapos sobrang light fine lang nung texture. Ito kasi loose powder to eh. Ito yung swatch niya guys. For this episode, Battle of the Brands, high-end makeup, the pricey expensive ones, and the affordable makeup, the drugstore makeup products. The time now guys is 2.06. PM and uh, I'll be wearing this makeup up until late afternoon. Thank you guys and please keep on watching. Hey yo guys, hello again. Time check, it's around 3.25 ng hapon. So, it's almost one hour and soon to half. And as you can see, ganun na ganun pa rin siya. Medyo nag-oil up lang ako. So, napansin ko lang na sa nose, medyo kung nakikita nyo, dito kasi sa mirror ko is medyo may nagbuong part dito sa nose area. Nalalamang nang ng konti yung dito sa high-end makeup product but nakakahabol pa rin si affordable drugstore. Yan o, pak na pak pa rin yung uh, highlighter ko and blush on. You're almost same. So, titignan natin. Mamaya babalikan ko kayo. Check again. Lalabas lang ako sa glit. Bibili lang ako ng food and we'll come back. Dito ka lang, baby, ha? Ha? Ting, ting. Untayin mo ko. Bili akong food. Yan mga guys. Saalis na ako. Time now is 5 minutes to 4 in the afternoon. So, ayan. Sobrang init sa labas. Diyan ka lang siya, ah. Hmm? So, I will just come back, guys. Yung isa po is Papa Prim. guys, I'm back. So, the time now is 5.05 p.m. So, nandito na ako sa bahay. Ang bilis mag-oxidize sa akin nung foundation. Nangitim agad yung mukha ko. Tapos, sobrang oily na. Actually, dito sa camera, sobrang kitang-kita yung nag-oil up ako. Pero, sa personal, pag tumitingin ako dun sa salamin, is okay pa rin talaga siya. Performance niya, this side is high-end makeup, sobrang pak na pak pa. I mean, sobrang ganda pa rin yung highlighter, the eyeshadow, yung kilay, and the lipstick. 
Dito naman sa drugstore makeup, sobrang ayos pa din niya. Meron lang ilan mga spot na kagaya niyan. Yan o, medyo nawala na. May medyo na muulang dito but still, humahabol pa rin talaga siya sa high-end makeup product. So, kakain na kami ni Chacha. I bought some KFC and nilagay nil nil ko na dun sa ref. So, yan. Maggagabi na. The time is 5.40 and this will be the last check for this episode. As you can see, tingnan natin sa mirror. So, yan guys. Sobrang nag-oil up ako. For this side, the high-end makeup product. I love the finish. Nag-oil up lang ako pero maidadaan to sa blotting powder or just a quick retouch. Yung affordable ones, may part siya na parang nahulas. Siguro na bangga ng kamay ko kanina. Merong part din na namuo. I'm not sure kung sa camera is nakikita din. This area, tapos sa nose. You know, namuo siya. Other than that, yun lang naman. Meron pa rin mga mura or yung mga affordable drugstore makeup products na almost the same with high-end or mas maganda pa. Meron din namang high-end makeup products na sobrang ganda rin talaga. Talagang walang paliya. Meron din naman na parang mahal siya, ganyan, pero hindi bagay. You'll never know the performance unless you try it and unless you observe it. Performance and price, magkakabit lang yan. Kagaya nga na sabi ko, again, it doesn't mean that it's high-end or expensive. Sobrang ganda na niya. Actually, there are a lot of in the market or sa beauty sections na mas maganda din or nakakatapat din. Pero syempre, pag high-end, mostly kasi naman is maganda talaga. Hindi lang nga siya in general. Same with drugstore makeup products. Nakakahabol din talaga yung affordable drugstore makeup sa high-end. Sa packaging, actually di na-amaze ako sa mga high-end makeup products. Sobrang gaganda talaga ng packaging. Shala talaga tingnan or nakakayayamanin. Sobrang pricey din talaga tingnan ng mga packaging. Sobrang thumbs up din ako dyan. Sa drugstore makeup, uh, actually, okay naman din siya. Pero hindi nga lang kasing ganda nung high-end. Doon, oo nga pala, bumili ako ng Belo Collagen The Melon Smoothie sa Watsons. And I will be doing a vlog about this. Please watch it for the review of this. Kung ano nga ba talaga yung importance ng collagen products. Yes, ito yung gumawa ko ng vlog about this. Please watch it. It is on my YouTube channel. Tapos, ito yung bago kong gagawin for vlog. Belo Collagen Melon Smoothie. I'll make a review about this. Please stay tuned and thank you for watching. Again, please do not forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe on my YouTube channel and my Facebook page, Signature by Paris K. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.